Hi everyone. Hope everyone is doing well and having a great learning experience. Quickly wanted to discuss a couple of things with you. Uh, let me just get started. So basically, one thing is I want to discuss about the assignments. These are the first set of assignments that we have given to all tracks. The second thing is about the journey ahead and effective usage of Slack. Let's quickly get started with the assignments. So right now, assignments are available on uh, on learning platform as well as on DeFi blog for self practice. So for example, if you are a uh, absolute beginner or a beginner and want to see what kind of assignments were given to advanced people, uh, you can technically see them on the blog. Just to quickly show you how it looks like. So if you quickly go to our blog page so right at the top you can see that day 13 resources and all so you just need to click on read more and you can already find a bunch of uh, slides here with assignment instructions and all uh, so this is this is what it is and uh, you can also download them by clicking on this particular link and not just that i'll quickly take you through the learning platform so once you go to uh, learn.defi.tech you just need to log in with your credentials. And then um, if I'm an absolute beginner, I would just click uh, this particular thing. And in week one, day six, I can see there is an assignment. Please ensure you read the instructions carefully. Okay. As you can see, there is a data set available and also you are asked to read this particular article before you start going ahead with the submissions. Okay. And uh, once you click on assignment, you'll be asked to attempt the quiz. So you're only allowed to attempt once. That means that you can look at the questions and come back again. That's not a problem, but you should only attempt once. Once you submit, that's that's everything. Okay. So you just click on attempt. And as you can see, there are a bunch of questions that are given and you already have the data set. So you need to open the data set in a different tab. Okay. You need to... Uh, open the data set and also you can open the learning resources. So you have the data set here ready. You just need to download the data set by clicking on this thing, file and then download CSV. Okay. And then once you click on download, it just downloads the file for you. Okay, and then you can uh, uh, load this particular data set in your collab environment or uh, Jupyter notebook environment. That is something that you already know. I don't really need to talk much about it. So again, clicking on attempt quiz. And also I think there are some instructions that we have given if I'm not wrong in, in this thing. Yeah, assignment instructions. So if you go to assignment instructions, you already find a bunch of instructions out there. You can see what all instructions were given and uh, what is the data set and things like that. Okay. So you can also find the instructions here as well. So please don't disclose the answers to other learners. Um, that's the only request that we have. Uh, that's pretty much about it. And also there is one learning module for your reference on uh, NumPy and Pandas that is for your learning. So that's about, um, the learning platform and likewise we have given a quiz to advanced and intermediate learners it's not a quiz it's it's a assignment proper assignment where uh, they will have to submit the assignment uh, along with their codes and after that uh, they need to basically submit it back onto the learning platform and it will be evaluated by the peers okay just to show you how it looks like for advanced learners i'm going back to the blog if I open this, uh, this is how it looks like. So data set submission guide. So we have given a clear submission format for uh, advanced and intermediate learners. They need to submit in this particular format and ensure that the submission URL is public. Okay, they need to click on share on the Google Collab environment and ensure that it is that particular link is accessible, accessible to anyone with a link. It should be viewable by anyone with a link. That's something that you need to ensure. And we have given proper instructions with uh, screenshots in the slides. Okay, thanks. And uh, the second important thing is, uh, what is the journey ahead? Definitely, it's going to be very, very exciting. You get to play around with with the data set. As, as you can see, like, you know, we have given two data sets, right? For absolute beginners and beginners, we have given 
uh, smart metropolitan area data set. And whereas coming to advanced learners, we have given a real data set. That is nothing but DeFi learners activity. So that's very cool. I mean, like, you know, they'll be working on a real data set. Similarly, like, you know, in, in next few days or weeks to come, that journey will be very, very exciting. Okay. And, um, yeah, you'll get to learn about machine learning models, how they work. And uh, you'll also get to know about brief statistics and bunch of other things. And also, if you are getting stuck with coding, take a break and start afresh. Okay. Don't worry if you are getting stuck with NumPy or uh, like, you know, loops or functions or something else. Okay. Don't, don't press a panic button. Just stay calm and start afresh. Right now, like, you know, we'll have a bunch of auto machine learning packages, which we will be using uh, to, that would ease our entire process of coding and a bunch of other things. I mean, you just need to use some template codes and uh, template code snippets and work on it. Okay, so the journey would be very smooth in terms of uh, coding. It won't be hard pressed. Uh, is it that like, you know, you need to understand what's going and like, you, know, you need to uh, understand the fundamentals of each and every model and where it needs to be implemented and a bunch of other things. Uh, we will also be covering exploratory data analysis and we'll be taking you through the entire data science journey process. So that is something that we will do in the next few weeks. It, it is definitely exciting. Trust me. Okay. And don't get stuck in at the, at the coding uh, piece. Just take a break if you're stuck and uh, let's move ahead. Okay. And uh, definitely next thing is a follow up to my previous slide is use slack effectively and mo most importantly approach coaches okay use help channel uh, i think like you know if you are stuck anywhere just go to help channel and post your question and you'll get answers in in almost real time that's the kind of support system that we have in the form of coaches trust me i mean like you know you can see this message right it says that you coaches are like guardian agents this is one of the feedback uh, given by one of our uh, learners and if i go to uh, slack quickly you can see that like you know almost each and every thing is responded on uh, slack so for example if i go to help channel as we can see each and every every question that is being asked is responded by some coach or the other so similarly like you know you'll have a great learning experience uh, i mean we have some absolutely amazing coaches who can help you with it. So don't worry about that. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much from my end. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you complete this uh, entire course and uh, all the best.